Hello everyone, welcome to our new series on scenario based SQL interview questions. Today we are going to write the query to get uh, the customer IDs who made at least two transactions and have an active loan amount greater than average loan amount and we need to include the total balance in the table. Okay, so first we will write query to get the transactions the customer has made. If you look at our database diagram, we have the customers table, transactions table and accounts table. So there is no direct relationship with the transactions table. So we need to join the customers table and accounts table and we will join accounts table with the transactions table on the account ID. Select C dot customer ID where C is the alias for customers table from customer C join accounts A on C dot customer ID is equal to A dot customer ID so we'll join accounts table with transactions table T on T dot account ID as you know transactions and accounts table is related on account ID A dot account ID so from transactions table we need t dot transaction id and also we need to include the balance amount so balance field is present in the accounts table a dot balance let me execute the query if you see here we have the customer id transaction id and a balance so Customer ID 1 has made 4 transactions and uh, this balance amount is uh, repeating for uh, this customer ID is repeating 4 times actually the balance amount should be the one if you look at our uh, accounts table let's start from accounts the balance amount for the customer ID 1 is 1000 since we have joined the accounts and transactions table so one customer can made uh, one account can have multiple transactions so the customer ID is repeating. So while aggregating this data, instead of giving the sum of balance, we should take minimum of the balance. Okay. Now another condition here we have is to include the customers only who have the active loan amount greater than the average loan amount. Okay. For that we need to write one query. Select. So this loan information is present in the loans table, loan ID and uh, loan amount the loan loans table and the customers table are related on customer id select l dot customer underscore id from and also the loan amount l dot loan underscore amount from loans l we need to include the loans customers who have the active loan amount that is l dot loan underscore status is equal to active execute this query we forgot to give the alias to the loan table here So these are the customer IDs and uh, the loan amount. So we need to include the customers who have the loan amount greater than the average loan amount. So what is the average loan amount? Select average of loan amount from loans. Let's see the average loan amount. So the average loan amount is around 14,000 and uh, these are the loan amount of each customer. So with that condition we should exclude the customer ID 1 and 2. This should not come. So to include this condition, we will uh, use this one as a sub query. Select so where loan status is equal to active and 
l dot loan underscore amount is greater than so let's put this in a brackets as a sub -coil. so we have this customer list who made uh, who has the loan amount greater than the average loan amount so let's take this one as one sub query s1 and uh, join control c join this table so join s1 on s1 dot customer id is equal to c dot customer id so as you know we need to get the count of transaction amount and the balance amount we will add the aggregate function sum of transaction id and minimum of sorry count of transaction id we need to get the count minimum balance as the balance as transaction amount a transaction count as we are using the count and uh, min function we are aggregating the data we need to group the data on the customer id group by c dot customer id having count of our requirement is to get the customers who has the count of transactions greater than or equal to 2 minimum 2 okay greater than or equal to 2 so these are the customers 